You can probably scan this, but can you scan this? You may not have seen it before, but yes, that is a rectangular QR code. Apparently, in the middle of 2022, just last year, Denzo Wave, the entity behind QR codes, made a rectangular QR code that can even be printed in long, narrow spaces. And I gotta be honest, like, look, that's the gist. It's a QR code, but it's just stretched out and widened. Now, there was a previous article over on Hackaday showcasing that, hey, if you use actual other color bands or you try to blend in some other stuff, maybe pour in the rainbow in here, you can cram in even more data inside of these QR codes. They do have a whole write-up on this, and I think that's kind of neat. Hey, maybe that's a worthwhile project, something to play with and might make for a pretty cool activity, but it actually got me thinking, and I thought, you know, this would be perfect. Because for one thing, I had not seen this before. I don't know if you've seen it before, but it's not something that, oh, your regular, I don't know, cell phone scanner, the camera app to just try to read a QR code would naturally be able to figure out because I don't think it has that features built in yet. Obviously, there are a whole lot of specifications and some technical details under the hood, but uh, it is all above my head and I'm not going to pretend like I know anything about it. I'm just going to take it at its face value. It's pretty cool. It's a rectangular QR code. So I got to thinking, how can I create my own QR code? Fill it whatever data I want, I don't know, put whatever text in there, redirect anything, do QR code shenanigans, but how could I create my own? And hey, you might be familiar, you know, I like to host a couple different capture the flag challenges or competitions or events where you get to play with some technology or software or cybersecurity and hacking. And I create these warm-ups challenges that are like these small, simple little trinkets, some baby steps to get the wind beneath you. And hey, get some movement so you feel like, hey, you're solving stuff, so it's a one-step solution, normally just scanning a QR code is a fine little test, a little solution for a warm-ups challenge. But there are only so many of those you can create, right? Hey, it's kind of one and done. So what if we add a little bit of a twist? What if I suggested try to scan this long rectangular QR code? And by the way, if I may say, I am going to be hosting another Capture the Flag competition alongside Sneak. Hey, we're co-hosting the Fetch the Flag CTF this year, getting started October 27th and ending the very next day. So just a quick 24-hour game, but it should be a ton of fun if you actually dig into some of the uh, about information and frequently asked questions. The prizes are pretty cool. Hey, some folks can win some swag and some Nintendo Switches. I'd love to see you there. Hey, we got a lot of good folks already registered, about 3,000 or so, and you should be in there just as well. Looking forward to sneak fetch the flag, and maybe we can squeeze in a little bit of a long QR code warm up challenge. The next tidbit, though, is how do we actually make these? How do we create them? There are some online RMQR, or these rectangular QR code generators. It's a two-dimensional barcode, and QR code is registered trademark of Denso Wave Incorporated. All kudos, credit, and shout out to them. But we could just simply make, like, I don't know, a link to subscribe to the channel or some stupid stuff, whatever, whatever, whatever. But it would be better if this were dynamic, something automated, something that we can craft and write with code. And for that reason, they have a Git hub repository for how you can create the rectangular micro QR code in Python. Now this is super cool. Pretty simple. Hey, you just go ahead and spin it up and install it. They do have this outlined in their readme here. How to install is a simple pip install rmqr code. You could run it from the command line rmqr just as the utility with the data that you want and then the output file, the PNG image you want to save that to. Bunch of command line arguments if you wanted to play with it or if you wanted to use it as a library like hey, maybe you're crafting something else. Look, just import the library and and then you can specify any other configuration or settings that you want. They have a couple uh, little tidbits here. Hey, what their error correction level might be or how they actually fit the image, whether you make it some super duper long thing where you minimize the height or some maybe cram thing where you try to minimize the width. And there's a balance option just as well. I don't mean to dig into all of the bells and whistles, but I would love to play with it. Just do a little super quick show and tell. We could simply pip install RMQR code. Now I have spun this up. I've already got this installed here, but if I were to use mrqr, exactly maybe a hello world test.png, or if we were to just generate a flag for the sake of a capture of the flag, can I use flag whatever, whatever, whatever. Store it into my image. Now I can view the created image. I'm using Restretto inside of my Kali Linux virtual machine, and here it is. There is my super simple, long, rectangular QR code. They made QR codes longer. <laughs> the hard part now is how do we actually scan that? How do we decode it? How do we get the value? Now, normally, for the sake of capture the flag, I really recommend folks use, hey, quick and easy command line tool. I think ZBar tools or ZBar IMG on the command line will just rip right through it. Gimmick here, if I stop Restretto, ZBar image on my test.png uh, will not work. 
Looks like it'll actually air here for me. Hey, we could not detect any barcode data. I gotta be honest, I could not find anything online that would actually be able to read the QR code. Read the long RM QR code, ZBar tools, I couldn't figure out how to do it, I don't think it could. Uh, I didn't find any other tooling in Python or their GitHub repositories to get that done. I did see though, the README said, look, you could read the QR codes using the QRQR app. However, a lot of other QR code readers may not have been able to support this yet. And yeah, my like Google Pixel, my cell phone and regular QR code scanner for going out to eat at restaurants or whatever, wouldn't be able to read that. But the QRQR QR code reader is available as an app, I think put out by Denso Wave and be able to showcase this. And it's available on Android, iPhone, whatever. And I will say I have been having trouble with some of the like super duper long Long ones that aren't balanced or, you know, extend a little bit in their vertical height. So let me try to see, can I actually use these with some help options to, yeah, okay, maybe change the, the fit strategy. Maybe we could use a minimum height or minimum width or balance here. Let's try to recreate that with our fit strategy being what, min width, right? All right, and now we have our QR code. Let's take a look if it will scan with QR, QR, and it does. Here, take a look. There is our flag value. You can see that all well and good, and hey, it has scanned our long QR code. With that, just as a super small example, now you've got a flag and you can keep cruising through maybe a capture the flag challenge or competition, just like, hey, I'm putting together for fetch the flag this coming October 27th. Should be a ton of fun. It's awesome to be co-hosting with Sneak and maybe, hey, you could try your hand at it and now you've already got a solution for probably one of the challenges. I'm not gonna lie. Even if that whole cybersecurity world or hacking is a little bit new to you and maybe you're just not familiar with Capture the Flag, look, there's still a whole lot to learn and it's totally free all online. And it's gonna be a ton of fun. I hope to see you on the scoreboard and hey, I hope you put together your own long and rectangular QR codes. That's just crazy cool to me. We'll do some other crazy stuff with colors, maybe pour in the rainbow a little bit and see how much data can we cram in just that small little picture. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.